Episode 7 from Chapter 3 of the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Choose the best answer. Let's begin. What is the primary requirement for the water used to manufacture ice? A. It must be cold. B. It must be purified. C. It must be filtered. D. It must be fit for drinking. What is the primary requirement for the water used to manufacture ice? D. It must be fit for drinking. The water used to manufacture ice must be fit for drinking. What happens to the ice when it is heavily contaminated with spoilage bacteria? A. It melts quickly. B. It becomes harder. C. It retains its freshness. D. It must be discarded. What happens to the ice when it is heavily contaminated with spoilage bacteria? It must be discarded. The ice must be discarded when it is heavily contaminated with spoilage bacteria. Why are block ice rarely used directly for cooling fish? A. It is too expensive. B. It melts too quickly. C. Because of its size and weight. D. It causes physical damage to fish. Why are block ice rarely used directly for cooling fish? C. Because of its size and weight, black eyes are rarely used directly for cooling fish because of its size and weight. What is the main disadvantage of crushed ice? A. It is irregular in shape with sharp edges. B. It is difficult to produce. C. It is less effective in cooling fish. D. It contains spoilage bacteria. What is the main disadvantage of crushed ice? A. It is irregular in size with sharp edges. How is flake ice commonly produced? A. By freezing water in cans or molds. B. By breaking down blocks or slabs. C. By forming thin flakes in cold metallic surfaces. D. By freezing water on the inside surface of a tube. How is flake ice commonly produced? C. By forming thin flakes on cold metallic surfaces. Flake ice is commonly produced by forming thin flakes on cold metallic surfaces. What advantage does flake ice have? Over crushed ice, A. It has a longer shelf life, B. It is easier to transport, C. It provides better ice-fish contact, D. It melts more slowly. What advantage does flake ice have over crushed ice? C. It provides better ice-fish contact. What is a disadvantage of flake ice compared to crushed ice? A. It is denser and requires more ice for cooling. B. It clumps together and melts rapidly. C. It is more expensive to produce. D. It has a lower melting point. What is a disadvantage of flake ice compared to crushed ice? B. It clumps together and melts rapidly. How is tube ice different from other shaped ice? A. It lasts longer and melts evenly. B. It is denser and cools fish more effectively. C. It is easier to transport in insulated containers. D. It causes less physical damage to fish. How is tube ice different from other shaped ice? A. It lasts longer and melts evenly. What is the bulk density of tube ice compared to flake ice and crushed ice? A. It is higher than flake ice, 
but lower than crushed ice. B. It is midway between that of flake ice and crushed ice. C. It is lower than both flake ice and crushed ice. D. It is higher than both flake ice and crushed ice. What is the bulk density of tube ice compared to flake ice and crushed ice? B. It is midway between that of flake ice and crushed ice. The bulk density of tube ice is midway between that of flake ice and crushed ice. Why is tube ice not practical for icing fish? A. It melts too quickly. B. It has a cylindrical shape and can bruise the fish. C. It is too expensive. D. It requires special containers. Why is tube ice not practical for icing fish? B. It is cylindrical in shape and can bruise the fish. Which methods are used to store fish with ice? A. Bulking, packaging, and freezing. B. Bulking, shelving, and boxing. C. Freezing, shelving, and packaging. D. Freezing, packaging, and boxing. Which methods are used to store fish with ice? B. Bulking, shelving, and boxing. These are the methods used to store fish with ice. What is the purpose of bulking fish with ice? A. To maximize storage life. B. To separate different fish species. D. To minimize physical damage to fish. D. To facilitate unloading of the catch. What is the purpose of bulking fish with ice? A. To maximize storage life. What are the disadvantages of bulking fish? A. Physical damage to fish and poor quality. B. Difficulty in unloading and rough hun handling. C. Increased risk of spoilage and ice melting. D. Limited storage space and higher cost. What are the disadvantages of bulking fish? The correct answers can be A or B. Bulking fish can cause physical damage to fish and poor quality. Bulking fish can also result in difficulty in unloading and rough handling. So the answer could either be A or B. Or A and B. Which method is applicable to larger gutted species of fish? A. Bulking B. Shelving C. Boxing D. Freezing which method is applicable to larger gutted species of fish? B. Shelving In shelving, the fish is stored in single layers, got cavity down on a bed of ice. Sometimes a little ice is spread on top. This is done to A. To ensure bleeding through the cut surface of the fish to retard spoilage by chilling. B. To easily segregate first caught fish from last caught fish. C. To keep handling at the minimum. D. To provide adequate drainage of melt water. In shelving, the fish is stored in single layers, got cavity down on a bed of ice, sometimes a little ice is spread on top. This is done to A. To ensure bleeding through the cut surface of the fish to retard spoilage by chilling. Which method of storing fish in ice is preferred? A. Bulking B. Shelving C. Boxing D. Freezing Which method of storing fish in ice is preferred? 
C. Boxing What advantage does boxing offer in storing fish? A. Maximizes storage life B. Minimizes physical damage to fish C. Facilitates bleeding through the cut surface D. Enables easy segregation of different fish catches what advantage does boxing offer in storing fish? D. Enables easy segregation of different fish catches. What is a disadvantage of boxing in some cases? A. Increased risk of spoilage. B. Higher cost of storage. C. Difficulty in moving boxes for transport. D. Occupies more space compared to bulking. What is the disadvantage of boxing in some cases? D. Occupies more space compared to bulking. Which storage method is usually utilized in the hold of fishing boats? A. Bulking B. Shelving C. Boxing D. Freezing Which storage method is usually utilized in the hold of fishing boats? A. Bulking When a very large volume of fish needs to be stored, bulking can... A. Physically damage the fish through the pressure of fish above and the pressure of ice. B. Result in better quality than shelved or boxed fish after the same storage time. C. Result in easier unloading of the catch. D. Allow easy stacking of fish containers. When a very large volume of fish needs to be stored, bulking can... A. Physically damage the fish through the pressure of fish above and the pressure of ice.